Papa Pepper, how to find wild animals. Just live the life. All right guys, Papa Pepper here. And uh, just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about some of the fun things in life, right? Because often people are like, how do you find so many snakes? How do you encounter so many wild animals? And if you see behind me, there's a bunch of woods that's on our property. We are clearing out a section for a house site to live and things like that and some pasture land for the animals. But for the most part, there's some pretty wild stuff out here. So, been working around today. First thing we did for a, well, it wasn't the first thing we did, but among the other chores we did today was we moved our sheep and our goats and stuff like that. That way, while I'm working on the perimeter fence and making some other areas that they can graze, um, they're able to be fine, move on to greener pastures, that type of thing. So we were doing that, and right in the middle of that, I, uh, I came upon two speckled king snakes. So I just happened to see them down at my feet. I'll show you that video right now. All right guys, Papa Pepper here on the homestead. Moving sheep right now, but look what I found in the midst of it. Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, it's still... Oh, it was a pair of them. Wow, this one is incredible for coloration. Wow guys, let me get that out of the way. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a smell on my face. Anyone? Okay, there's two of them kids. It's probably a male and a female. Let's check them out for a bit. Yeah? Yeah. They're beat up. this one. That one's kind of, I don't know if it got ran over by a car or what happened. But that's, oh man. So cool. That's part of why I love being out here. In the middle of nowhere. In the wild. Where things are. Alright, pop out. So you can see how exciting that is for me. Uh, just to kind of stumble upon something like that out of nowhere. That's my favorite snake right now, the speckled king snake. And to find two of them just like that, we're just going to photograph them, check them out a little bit. And let them go back on our land because those are the type of snakes that we enjoy having around. They, uh, they look cool, they serve a good purpose, they cut down on the mice population, the rodent population, things like that. And uh, then, I was working with my dad, Grandpa Pepper, and we were taking out some trees. Um, just clearing a little bit of stuff around where we're going to put the mobile home in. Working on a couple of things, came walking across and found this guy. I'll show you a short clip of that right now. All right, guys, Papa Pepper. Here's some more of it. Just working with Grandpa Pepper. And much like earlier when we found those other snakes. Hold on. Now we got another one. Beautiful. Beautiful black rat. I don't know if you guys can see the full size of that. That's one awesome snake. So, three snakes today while I'm not even looking for snakes. Just working, doing stuff, taking care of things. So. Absolutely beautiful snake though. Again, this is just part of why I like being out here. I like being out in the middle of nowhere with lots of wildlife, that type of stuff. Uh, people ask me how I find so many, sometimes I guess they just find me. All right, pop out. So, you know, to find like a four foot black rat snake out of nowhere, um, that's pretty cool. I like being able just to walk around all of a sudden and be like, whoa, check that out. Now these guys will eat eggs. So you got to keep them out of your chicken coop. They will eat uh, small birds too and stuff. And then also, as usual, I mean, this is a wild snake. Okay, it just bit me there. A lot of people think, oh, aren't you scared it's going to bite you? I mean, the worst that this thing could do, whoa, did you see that? Nothing, right? It's bite me in the face. That's the worst that could happen. Odds are that's not going to happen, but if it does bite me, it's kind of like getting punched with a couple little needles. Yeah, it breaks the surface sometimes, so we can clean that up. Yeah, it uh, makes you bleed sometimes, but that's about it. When you're dealing with non-venomous snakes, a lot of them are not that dangerous, and even the ones that will defend themselves and bite you aren't really going to uh, be that big of a deal. So we're going to photograph this guy a little bit and let him go, but just a beautiful snake, part of why I like being out in the wild, out in the woods, out in the swamps, out by the lake, out in the prairies, out in just the wild, uh, out of the concrete jungle, because this is the type of stuff I really enjoy. So thanks for checking it out, guys. Oh, did you see that? He just smiled. All right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people, 
where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.